Hi, hey, it's Diana from Friday Feathered Facts again. Here I have our resident ambassador, Western Screech Owl. Now, normally, she is among our other raptor residents who get walked about every morning. We visit with the public about the birds, about the species, and about the rehab center in general. Well, long about June, she was taken out of the rotation because we needed her to do another job. At that point in time, a baby Western Screech Owl Owlet was brought in. This baby was found on the sidewalk in front of a very busy bar as a fledgling. Now, you know, we always say, don't bother the fledglings, leave them alone, the parents are taking care of them. But if they're in a dangerous spot, you've got to do something about that. So a woman spotted this baby on the sidewalk, decided it was a dangerous spot, and took it home with her. She then did the right thing by calling the area biologist who picked up the baby, gave it an exam, determined it to be very healthy, a little hungry, fed it, and then she drove it 400 miles from Glasgow in eastern Montana to Montana Wild at Helena. Now, this little girl Although we know she's a female and she's an adult, so we don't know her reproductive history. But we'd never asked her to be a foster parent before. We have a great horned owl who's done it a number of times very successfully. So we thought it was worth a try because this baby needed a mom. So we put the baby in with her and she ignored it initially. Didn't know if she would ignore it, mother it, or attack it because after all she is a predator and bigger owls do eat smaller owls. It wasn't long before they were sitting together next to one another on the perch. And then the next thing someone noticed is she was feeding the baby. At that point we were good. Okay, so she's going to take care of this little one and socialize it and teach it how to be an owl. Now, we were, I, you know, I wondered how can't we still walk this little girl in the morning she can meet her public I asked that question and the answer made perfect sense we don't want the baby to see that it's okay to step up on a human's hand so no we don't want to model that behavior for the baby so mama and baby have been together all summer and recently we've taken to releasing live mouse live mice in the baby's enclosure she was brought inside here not long ago because the baby was judged to be old enough to take care of itself now. When the, large, when the live mice are released, she knows exactly what to do. Goes right after them. So that baby is ready to go. Right now we are arranging transportation for the 400 mile trip back to Glasgow where she came from. Because we always try to do releases back in their native territory. So that's what Kyla did with her summer vacation. <laughs> That's a pretty good big deal. So thanks for checking in, guys. We'll see you later.